come and look, uh, but the point is not necessarily what you see on the screen. It, 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 it will be at some point, but not right now. What the real point is, the process. And, and let me describe um, the number of people who've been engaged in bringing this here. Because the point I want to make is not that it's been a national process, but an international one. That is a cooperation between a number of individuals and institutions in different nations. And uh, they cooperated because they knew each other, they knew the project, and they wanted to see it here. And for me, that marks a kind of difference in the approach to certainly to exhibiting here that goes well with the nature of the Bryan Museum and the challenges it, 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 it offers to conventional curatorial practice. You know, I've spent most of my life going to museums um, and going to galleries where I used to, until I worked in one, I used to hesitate a little bit before I entered one because I wasn't sure that I was welcome within those walls, necessarily. I wasn't sure, I certainly knew I couldn't afford to buy anything. Um, I wasn't sure whether I could understand what I was looking at. I wasn't sure that anybody wanted me to go in or look at it or understand it. And I think it not that feeling So I think the Prime Museum offers a challenge to everything we see around us. It offers a challenge to the exclusivity of the walls. It offers a challenge to the exclusivity of the idea that there are experts making choices who offer you permanent notions of what the canon is, uh, what is 
what is correct and what you ought to be looking at. And as I said at the beginning, I'm not going to thank anybody for coming here and watching the Prime Museum because you can do as you like. You can watch it or not. You can pass on by or you can stop. It is something that offers you the freedom to see it, to engage with it, or not, as you wish. I think that's kind of new, and that's a model for experimenting and exploring the act of seeing. It's a model for trying to cope with the conflicts that we have over the struggles about cultural ownership in a society which is continually changing and where culture has become a site of struggle. The Prime Museum, I think, offers us a glimpse of a way out of some of the contradictions we have to live with. Thank you, Rene. It's a lovely idea and a lovely thing, and I'm, I'm enjoying it. Have another drink, everybody. If, as long as the wine holds out, watch the thing and talk about it. Thank you.